In this video, I will show you how to fix the error after launching the game GTA 5, failed to initialize critical data, or the second error, unable to launch game. Please try to reinstall the game. I will show you how to fix these errors without reinstalling the GTA 5 game. First, you need to close this error and return to your launcher in which you are running the game, Steam or Epic Games. Select the GTA 5 game, click Manage in the Epic Games launcher, and then verify the GTA 5 game files. If you have Steam, then open Properties, select Installed Files and verify the game files. If the error persists after verifying the GTA 5 game files, then you need to reinstall the Rockstar Games launcher. Right-click on the Rockstar Games icon and select Open File Location. In this folder, locate the uninstall file and run it. Select Delete Old Data Files and click Continue. If an error appears during the uninstall, then close the error and continue uninstalling the launcher. After that, click Close and delete the Rockstar Games folder in the Program Files folder. But if you couldn't uninstall Rockstar Games Launcher this way, then search for Control Panel and select it. Switch to Categories and select Uninstall a Program. Among the installed programs, search for Rockstar Games and uninstall it. But if you were able to uninstall Rockstar Games in the first way, then you will not be able to find Rockstar Games in this menu. After uninstalling Rockstar Games Launcher, open the official Rockstar website. Click on the Get Launcher button and download the new version of Rockstar Games Launcher. After that, launch the installation of Rockstar Games. Once the installation is complete, Rockstar Games Launcher will launch and you will need to enter your email and password to log into your account. After logging in, you can return to your Steam or Epic Games Launcher, launch the GTA 5 game, and after that, the error will not appear. The GTA 5 game started successfully because the error appeared due to the installation or download of the update not working properly. The game startup error is fixed and we can play GTA 5. That's all. If you liked the video, then like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you all for watching.